parallel to incline or say along line of impact or perpendicular to line of impact so these are the two things are there so th this particular line will be perpendicular to incline here so i'll i'll resolve this one so this will become u1 parallel u1 perpendicular it will come here okay this will be the end what is the state of this wedge this wedge will be at rest okay half impact of impact the wedge will acquire velocity i think you, you you are quite very familiar only thing is i just brought the condition equal to zero that's the only thing this one here so after collision so this is the ball it will have v1 perpendicular this will be v1 parallel this will be the line of impact okay agree this so this is the overall condition so what is asking just after component after collision the speed of the wedge a strict condition is that e equal to 0 let's see that how uh, that will be is going to help us a lot in the numerical okay now uh, for the can we apply conservation of linear momentum along x axis as in fact here an impulse j will be acting here impulse j the impulse on the wedge will be acting here now now because of this can i conserve <coughs> momentum along x axis as along it because there will be also an impulse by the ground on the wedge and it will be in this direction okay so so that impulse will be in this direction so because of this impulse momentum is not conserved on the of the system along y axis and also along line of what is this dotted line this is what the line of impact so momentum of system is not conserved along line of impact and also along y axis because of this impulse due to ground the momentum is conserved only along x axis because along x axis you could say the component of j and this component of j what will be the component of this this will be zero along x axis so therefore momentum is conserved along x axis so we will apply conservation of linear momentum along x axis net impulse along x axis will be zero so initial momentum equal to final momentum initial momentum m1 u1 equal to final momentum m2 v2 plus m1 v1 parallel v1 parallel cos theta i think this you check it it will be this will be theta okay this is theta <coughs> this will be theta so m1 v1 parallel cos theta minus m1 v1 perpendicular sin theta how many unknowns are there first we'll try to list out the unknowns the unknowns are what like uh, v1 parallel v1 perpendicular and v2 no these are the unknown things okay proceed further no so let's one, one equation i brought it so i'll call this as the equation 1 what is another equation we can write it uh, is it v1 parallel should be equal to u1 parallel it should be along the incline along the incline on the ball on, on the sphere on the sphere it should be equal to u1 parallel should be equal to v1 parallel okay this is any reason for that because that impulse j will act perpendicular to incline so this component will not change so will be like this so first what are u1 parallel what are u1 parallel u1 parallel should be equal to oh, so let like v1 parallel sorry ah uh, u1 parallel should be equal to u1 cos theta 
and what is u1 perpendicular u1 perpendicular should be equal to u1 sin theta okay one more equation is needed so shall we go for quotient of restitution formula e is equal to uh, let me take this direction as <coughs> positive a anything you can prefer, uh, anything you can take it as positive so let me take this as positive here or, or downward i'll take positive so this will be v2 sin theta v2 sin theta minus of minus v1 perpendicular is equal to u1 sin theta minus initially the wedge was at rest e equal to 0 is telling as this is equal to 0 So what do we get? V1 perpendicular, in fact, should be equal to V2 sin theta. Mod, mod, let me write it. Okay, this is equation three. Solving these two, <coughs> we'll get the required answer. Uh, this is e equal to zero. We think that e equal to zero, this cannot be. There should not be any component, need not. Or derive this question. See uh, one simplest thing. Shall I put one thing? Derive this for certain value of v. Let in terms of v you bring it. Substitute e equal to zero. You will get v one perpendicular non-zero. What is the idea of this problem? Though e is equal to zero, v one perpendicular. will be non zero this is the thing which i wanted to just conclude in this particular question so what do we think that the perpendicular component must be need not here so let's not something go for generalization that's what i feel now because at this particular stage no we should not go for more and more generalization terms <laughs> Option C and D will come. Option C and anyway, very good. Option D is what has to be solved here. Right? Question for V2 has to be determined. I'll scroll down. We take the next one. Did I write anything? Sorry, sorry. Not a V one perpendicular must be zero. Need not. If if the wedge is fixed, then then V one perpendicular should be zero. Look at that conditions here. No. Huh? 